Hi again, so we gonna continue our course. We have seen that the charge IC we located using this six signs, as you can see, near to the power jack, power jack charge IC, also near battery connector, battery connector charge IC, battery connector charge IC, and also surrounded by a MOSFET or near 8P MOSFETs, charge IC, 8P MOSFET, charge IC, 8P MOSFET or switch. Also next to two small ASMD coils or one big ASMD coil, charge IC in the back, two ASMD coils, one, two, charge IC, we have two inductors, PL, PL, charge IC in the back, here power jack, one big coil, charge IC, power jack, one big coil, power jack extension, charge IC, two inductors, here, this is inductors, we have PL, PL, charge IC, one big coil, PL44. Near to small coils, ACMD coil, or it, be, it could be one big ACMD coil. Also, the last sign is near to current sense resistor. Okay, the charge IC, you will find it always near to current sense resistor. Charge IC, current sense resistor. Charge IC, current sense resistor. Charge IC, current sense resistor, power jack. Charge IC, near battery connector, current sense resistor, here. Charge IC in the back, here we have power jack, current sense resistor, etc. So, please, to move on, remember, to locate and identify the charge IC, you have always look for the power jack, the battery connector, MOSFETs, near big coils, I mean this one. The B coil here we have PL29. Here we have charge IC B coil. Okay, but for other circuits like 3 volt and 5 volt circuits, you will find two coils for MOSFET two coils, etc. Okay, so please remember to locate the charge IC. We need the power jack here, the battery connector, MOSFETs, B coil, two SMD coils, or one B coil, SMD coil and current sense resistor over here. So this is how we locate the charge IC. Let's move on to how to locate the EC or MD controller. So let's get started, but please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and hit the bell icon to be notified for any uploaded video like this one. And for anyone who want to accelerate learning, you can join me in my Patreon page, the link in the description. So for beginners, this is the embedded control here. We call it embedded control, or sometimes we call it SIO or the super IO. Because the difference between the AC here, the difference between the embedded control and the super IO is that this one is responsible for managing the power within the motherboard, okay? And the super IO responsible for managing the input and output signals and also the power sometimes in some motherboards we can find it separated but in some motherboard we can find just one that together these two ICs like this in some motherboard you can find two controller as you can see one for power one for input output please before diving into the course we'd like to give a huge thank you to the sponsor for this video pcb way pcb way offers many services ranging from pcb production and assembly to 3d printing and a variety of materials cnc machining sheet metals fabrication injection molding and more pcb way makes it easy to get custom parts for your project and if you don't like to work a lot with the soldering iron they can even assemble your pcbs for you that's the pcb way now back to the video so how can we locate this controller what is the science there is basically many signs. The first, 
we find it near the BIOS, okay? The basic input-output system, also near to ICH in old laptop, and we called it PCH in newest laptop, platform control hub or input-output control hub. Also near to keyboard connector. Okay, so to locate the ECO or this SIO, you have to look for the BIOS, the ICH or PCH, and the keyboard connector. Let's see the motherboards. Here is the proof. We have the SIO near the BIOS, ICH, keyboard control. So BIOS, ICH, keyboard control, SIO. You will find usually those compound near to each other. Let's see other motherboards. Do you see for this motherboard? We have ICH exactly in the back. Let's see back here. Remember here? Exactly in the back, as you can see. What we have? We have BIOS ICH. And also here we have SIO. We have keyboard control. Do you see? Keyboard control. So keyboard control, SIO. And in the back, BIOS ICH. Now let's see some new motherboards, newest motherboard. We have here, as you can see, the EC, okay? The EC here, okay? Next to the EC, we have the ICH. And in the back here, what we have? We have the BIOS, okay? BIOS here, over here. You will find usually the BIOS market painted a little bit. So BIOS, here directly we have the SIO, the ICH. The same here, SIO, exactly in the back we have BIOS. Do you see? This is BIOS. Exactly near to this point, to this hole here. Okay, the BIOS near to this hole over here. As you can see, we have SIO, BIOS and how can you differentiate between BIOS as you can see here and MOSFETs? Here we have MOSFET, those also, also are MOSFETs. MOSFET, MOSFET, BIOS. You see, the BIOS is always bigger in terms of size than MOSFET. Okay, so in this motherboard, very clear we have SIO BIOS. Okay, guys, I hope you understand how to locate the ACSIO. Okay, so next to BIOS, next to ICH, and keyboard connector. Of course, you can find some ECs that are next to these three signs or components, but sometimes you can find just near to BIOS, ICH, or not to BIOS keyboard. Okay, but usually or always the AC or SIO will be next to the basic input output system because it is related to BIOS. About 90% of signals coming from SIO, BIOS, BIOS, SIO, and also ICH, SIO, PCH, SIO, etc. Okay, now we are in the most important moment in this video. What we will see in the next video is very important. Can you guess? We will see in the next video how to identify important pins in IC. Okay, I'm going to teach you how we will identify the important pins in every IC without the schemes, without schematics. Okay, guys, without schematics, I'm going to teach you how to identify the VCC, the VN, the enable pin, the on off, the clock, etc. A very important information that will help you troubleshoot and fix any motherboard without the schematic. And of course, I'm going also to teach you how to identify other ICs like 3 volt and 5 volt IC, CPU IC, GPU IC, 
ram ic etc but please don't forget to subscribe hit the bell icon to be notified share and like the video remember your likes motivate me to create more useful videos for you and if you want to accelerate and level up your troubleshooting level you can join me in my Python page the link in the description where you gonna find many exclusive videos content schematics and also where i can be your mentor and help you fix any motherboard issue you have and of course guys you gotta find in the description also the link for an article that together all informations we have seen in this video thank you very much and see you in the next video